everyone welcome back to the channel this is 37 my name is Mike and in this video I wanted to show you a little bit of my uh, settings that I use for my HP Reverb G2 and I know a lot of you still use the Reverb G2 and um, well before you start upgrading the headset um, I just wanted to show you the uh, the settings for the uh, extra software that I use to get a very smooth, playable, flyable um, VR experience with the Reverb G2. Alright, so first of all, let me open uh, FS Desktop real quick here, because I opened a few panels already for you. Alright, so here we go, go to the window picker. First, it's the, um, make this a little bit bigger so you can see it. All right, here we go. We go back to the window picker, and this is the first one. So this is the uh, OpenXR tools for Windows Mixed Reality. That one you really need for the HP Reverb G2. So my settings, I don't use the uh, latest preview OpenXR runtime, just the default one because the uh, the latest one was for the Hololens. I just use this one. So I have my custom render skill 85% and motion reprojection disabled. Uh, all the other settings are off. If I go in here for the OpenXR runtime, if it will open in this one, not sure, yeah there it is. So there you can see I have here my, this one, this is the uh, Ambukia Toolkit and this is the OBS mirror that I use for recording. Uh, but these are my settings in OpenXR tools for Windows Mixed Reality. 85% for the render scale and then motion reprojection disabled. Now, oh, I have to make sure that I get on track. But let's go, that's good. Alright, so next I'm using Riva Tuner. So Riva Tuner, I got the flight simulator.exe. I got my frame rate limit set to 30 frames per second. You got a very smooth flight with um, with 30 frames per second. Yes, I can go higher, but I prefer 30. And uh, for me, that's the best because then I can have some higher graphics and still get a very smooth play in the sim. But that's what I've did with the Riva Tuner. Next, in the NVIDIA app, I used automatic tuning, switch that to on, and as you can see, so, it's, oh, it's, it was interrupted now, but it will change this, uh, these parts, so it will do that again, I think I just uh, played a little, bit, a little bit with it, so it takes a while before it's tuned in, but Probably it's VRAM tuning is plus 200 and GPU tuning is uh, something like that as well. This is very one click, safe. Um, oh, gonna get some cloud, so got some anti ice on here. And this one. Oh, we are about to intercept, so I'm going to enough. All right, so that's what I did with that one. Now, when I close this one, as we're going through some clouds here with the vision jet, wow, this is beautiful. Oh man, as we're flying to Cuba, is it is that Cuba? I think so, yeah. Or is that... Uh, I don't know. Okay, I just set up a flight. Not sure. So, and we're in the turn, intercepting the course for destination airport. All right. So while we're here, let's go to the um, OpenXR toolkit. Hope you can read it. I keep my head uh, as smooth as possible. 
So I'm using uh, upscaling sharpening cos, that's 50%. I'm not using fixed foveated rendering because that messes up my recording. I got turbo mode on, that's the low latency in the uh, normal sim panel. And if I go to appearance, post processing is on. I got the LPD here, these are all for my um, colors, brightness, saturations. Uh, sunglasses is off. So my input for recording I have over prediction reduction to minus 80%. So I get a very smooth recording. But normally a minus 40 will be good for uh, for normal play. Oh, that's my power setting because all right. so I got the uh, override resolution set to yes. A display resolution that to well 2200 2155 so the uh, 85% in the uh, mixed reality toolkit and then uh, 2160 is I think the maximum for the for the headset you can go higher of course but uh, with this resolution I got a very good readable cockpit and still very smooth gameplay. So motion reprojection is already set to off. Here are my colors 41, 38, 41 for red, green and blue. View to view, simple. Uh, zoom, zero, blind eye, none. Disable hand mask. I have disabled the hand mask for recording. Otherwise I get uh, the uh, binocular view in there. Now in, in the menu you have to show the expert settings and that's basically it for this one. We're still in the clouds. Hopefully we will get out of some clouds. Or maybe we're gonna descend a little bit. So let's get the altitude down to about 4,000 feet. Because this is bad weather, man. And then vertical speed. Oh, there we go. Beautiful. So uh, the in-game uh, graphic settings, that depends all on your system. I have a 3080, got 32 gigabyte of RAM, and well, you've seen other videos that I made about the uh, VR settings, and it basically it's like medium to high, not that very high, because uh, you don't want to set it too high, otherwise you get stutters, you get freezes, and now this really works good. I've got my cloud settings to, to high and it just looks amazing. It really looks great as we are descending through the clouds right here. Wow. This is beautiful. So yeah, I can read all the instruments with these settings. Fairly good. And but this is this is what I did. So, Riva Tuner kept your frame rate at uh, 30 frames per second. So if I go back in here and then oh, in here and I show you my frames per second to go to advanced, I'm gonna exit this one. So you can see now FPS 30. Um, my VRAM usage is 6.2 gigabytes. So that's 88, about 90 percent my VRAM and that will give me a very smooth flight uh, no freezes in the in the headset because I'm using not all of my VRAM when you're using all of, all of that VRAM like 100% 99 that's gonna cause some freezes in the headset or stutters and that's no good 
Wow, look at this. Oh, uh, to exit. Up, here we go. We're still descending. Four thousand feet. We got the island already below us. We can't see it. <laughs> Beautiful, isn't it? So yeah, let's. This is it. Um, feel free to use these kind of se these settings that I use. Um, play with them. You, you can always go in the uh, Mixed Reality Toolkit, go to 100%. I prefer 85%. Lowering there, upscaling a little bit in the uh, OpenXR Toolkit. And see what works good for you. Um, this works for me very, very good. And I've been using it uh, for a long time now. And yes, hopefully I will upgrade in the future to a new headset. The Bimax Crystal Light is on my bucket list. But still, family, kids, house, <laughs> everything has to go on. And then comes the hobby, and that's uh, the flight simulator. Right, but that, now it's really getting dark in here. <laughs> oh man, love it. Oh, look in the back. Oh, there's nobody there. No, lights are on. Beautiful. Now, let's wait until we... Uh, Break a little bit out of these clouds. Hopefully, it's it's, um, it's bad weather here, man. It's bad, bad, bad weather. So let's uh, go to 3,500 here on the altitude selector. We're still descending, and I must say it's really smooth, good quality. Alright, it can be better, but then again, I have to, um, if I want to get the quality better in the headset, I have to downscale uh, some other quality levels in the sim. So it's give and take. So I want the sim to be beautiful. Does that mean that? I'll have a very high quality image of the headset. No, I downscale that a little bit. Um, or downscale. A little less quality for the headset, but good quality for the graphics overall in the sim. Look at that. Wow. And we got the mountains on our right, so that's very good. Hopefully we'll see a little bit of the island. But it's very bad weather now. But you get my point. Lower your graphics in the sim. And, or um, get them to medium high. So you get the best visuals in the sim for the best the best you can 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 use and then for the headset um, just scale it down and upscale it a little bit in the um, in the open XR toolkit I'm also uh, for 1000 feet to go I'm also using DLSS in the sim and I've set that to DLAA, what I did in a uh, previous video. So I'm using DLAA, that's one to one scale. So that's not downscaling and upscaling again. Now I'm using DLAA, one to one scale of the, of the image that I get. And that one to one scale is first going back to 85%. And then upscaled in the OpenXR Toolkit to 2200. So that's how I get a very, very smooth uh, gameplay in the sim. Right. Uh, 
hope you uh, find these uh, <laughs> these settings helpful for as long as you're still using the uh, HP Reverb. Do not update to Windows 24H2 because your headset will be a brick after that one and you can't use it 3500 feet. Wow, look at this. Beautiful. And you can't use your headset after that update. If you're using WinUtils, I did a uh, video about that one um, a couple of weeks ago. You can stop uh, Windows from updating. So your feature update, like 24H2, you can postpone that one for two years. And don't worry uh, for an automatic update. And then you can't use your headset anymore. So, uh, and I know a lot of people, they don't have uh, the $800 for a new headset. They would tend to use the uh, HP Reverb for, uh, for a year or two longer. Postpone your, uh, your Windows update with WinUtils. There's a little, uh, a small video that I did about that. It's a util everyone, every window user needs. Um, full of utilities, but also for the Windows updates. Uh, very handy to have that one. And it's a one click and you have a setting for Windows updates that you won't get a feature update like the 24H2 Windows update for two years. Like It's like staying on Windows 10 when Windows 11 came out, right? So you can use that one. That's very, uh, very handy uh, to have. All right, guys. So I'm um, almost at the destination, but this was... Uh, these were my settings that I use nowadays for the HP Reverb G2 on a medium spec, medium to high spec uh, PC. I don't have a 4090, um, really, I have a 3080, 10 gigabyte of RAM, 32 gigabytes of, uh, of RAM in my system. Got some water cooling and well, you can see my uh, my PC specs in the uh, description below the video. So, bear in mind, I don't have a very high-end computer. And still, the SEM runs very, very smooth. Even in this murky weather like this. Okay, guys, that was it. This was Mike, 30 Sim. And uh, the next video that I will do is a, a live stream during my world tour. I'm um, gonna do uh, leg three. That's from the south of France uh, to Spain with the Piper Comanche. Uh, feel free to join that, and hope hope to uh, talk to you in the live stream. All right, guys. This was it. This was Mike, and uh, in the next one. Take care.